Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today the first in four installments of Light Worker Homework 3 to channel messages of light and love from the stars by Alice B. Claggett. This, the first installment of Light Worker Homework 3, has two parts. Uh, one has to do with the solar storms and the other has to do with experiencing unconditional love during solar maximums. Now I'll go on to the second um, title in this first installment. The title of this second subset is An Opportunity to Experience Unconditional Love during the ramp up to the new solar ma maximum. I'd like to start off with an explanation of this section, which is a bit, a bit challenging. It has to do with a, a theory I'm setting forth that there may be two uh, places along our central vertical power current that when linked together in a golden bar of awareness can help us uh, in the real world to manifest our wishes that we have in our hearts and minds and feelings. Um, I call these two spots the two wish-fulfilling trees and they are located at the solar plexus just below the bottom center of the rib cage and at the Tan Den just below the navel point. The first, the solar plexus, I feel has to do with manifestation of our heartfelt wishes in the world. The second, the Tan Den, is the center of gravity of the physical body and I feel it to be the lower of these two wish-fulfilling trees. The two together stand together to create for us what we deeply hope for in the physical realm. So that's just by way of introduction and I'll begin with the text. The next four years, I hope, may offer great opportunities to experience unconditional love. The grandeur of a fully functional heart chakra, as was the case in the ramp up of Solar Cycle 24. I am really looking forward to this Solar Cycle 25 solar maximum. When the heart chakra is fully open, the low heart, the mid heart, the high heart, and the hridaya, the hidden inmost heart, then miracles can happen within and without our energy fields. The high heart, associated as it is with the thymus gland, stimulates regeneration of our physical and subtle bodies. Here's a sub subsection entitled The Low Heart, Higher of Two Wish Fulfilling Trees. The Low Heart, located at the solar plexus, has to do with manifestation of our heartfelt wishes in the world. I feel that the low heart may act in tandem with the low navel point or tan den as two wish-fulfilling trees. Here is my depiction of the low heart. All right, you can see a tree, one of the wish-fulfilling trees in green. Around it is a yellow sphere, and around that a white circle, and around that a green circle. Now what I've done is put in here green, which is the color of the heart frequently, and yellow, which is the color of the third chakra, the navel point. 
together, indicating that this, this point, this first wishful filling tree stands at the, at the base of the heart chakra and just above the navel point. So it touches both energies, the green and the yellow. Here's my explanation of the image. Low heart containing the higher wish-fulfilling tree by Alice B. Claggett, 1 October 2021. CC by SA 4.0. That's Creative Commons. One of the Creative Commons licenses. You can look them up under Creative Commons. Description. A green ring inside which is a white ring. Inside that, on a yellow background, is a green tree with five branches, each with leaves on it. Comments. Located as it is between the mid-heart chakra, which is often depicted as emerald green in color, and the navel point chakra, or third chakra old style, which is often depicted as yellow in color, the low heart might, I feel, best be pictured as a combination of these two colors. The low heart, I feel, may be located at the solar plexus, just below the middle arch of the bottommost ribs. When the mid-heart chakra is fully activated, as in years of solar cycle maximum, then I feel the high heart, which corresponds to the thymus gland, and the low heart are also fully functional. The former is associated with physical regeneration, and the latter I take to be associated with fulfillment of our heartfelt wishes in the physical realm. One thing that might mean is that by concentrating on the low heart and the high heart during times of solar maximum might result in regeneration and rejuvenation of the physical form. If you have your, your wish manifestation at the, at the base of the heart and your, your physical rejuvenation at the, at the top of the heart. And so by combining all of these, all the energies of the heart, so might the physical form and the DNA be renewed and, and repaired. The credit for this, this image is that the tree, that you saw the green tree, was adapted from Hrit Chakra, containing the wish-fulfilling tree, by Krishna Jinana, that's K-R-S-N-A-J-I-N-A-N-A, -N -A -N -A, 9 April 2010, in Wikimedia Commons, and it's, that image was public domain. I have to say I changed it tremendously, but I'm happy that Krishna Jinana gave me the original idea about it. I'm very happy indeed. The second sub-subheading in this section is the low navel point, lower of two wish-fulfilling trees. The navel point the third chakra is a very complicated chakra, said to be connected to 72,000 nadis, or energy currents, or axiotonal lines of light in the human energy field. The low navel point, located at the Tan Den, the center of gravity of the physical body, I feel to be the lower of two wish-fulfilling trees. The low navel point is located between the sacral or sexual chakra and the navel point or third chakra. Thus I feel it may act in tandem with the low heart to create the miracle of manifestation of our heartfelt, balanced, deeply felt wishes in the physical realm. I've drawn you a symbol to represent the lower of the two wish-fulfilling trees, the low navel point, and it looks like this. As you can see, it's very similar 
to the higher such tree, except that the colors are different. The color of this wish-fulfilling tree is yellow, the same as the color associated with the third chakra or navel point. The energy in the circle around it is orange, like the energy associated with the sacral or sexual chakra, the second chakra. Around that is a white circle, and around that is a yellow circle. Now these two colors mean to me that the low navel point, which is yellow, comes into contact with the sacral or sexual chakra, whose color is said to be orange. In other words, it's like a bridge between the second and the third chakras. I'll read you the legend for the image. Low Navel Point, containing the Lower Wish-Fulfilling Tree, by Alice B. Claggett, 1 October, 2021, CC by SA 4.0. Description. A yellow ring, inside which is a white ring. Inside that, on an orange background, is a yellow tree with five branches, each with leaves on it. Here's the comment. Located as it is between the mid-navel point chakra, which is often depicted as yellow and in color, and the sacral or sexual or second chakra, which is often depicted as orange in color, the low navel point might, I feel, best be pictured as a combination of these two colors. The low navel point I feel to be located at the Tan Den, the center of physical balance, just below the navel point. A desire expressed as intention through the mid-navel point chakra and which includes the feeling of the low navel point or Tan Den expresses balanced desire. This image has the same credit as the one above it, that the tree is adapted from Hrit, H-R-I-T, chakra, containing the wish-fulfilling tree by Krishna Jinnana, 9 April 2010, in Wikimedia Commons, and that was public domain. I got to thinking about this section, and I thought I had not completed it properly. I had not completed the idea properly for my readers, so I've added a sub-subsection entitled Meditation on the Two Wish-Fulfilling Trees. This, I thought, might bring those two notions together in a, a simple way to manifest desires using those two points. And it goes like this. Place your awareness on a band of yellow light at the base and top of which are the two wish-fulfilling trees the low navel point or tan den, and the low heart point or solar plexus. Visualize this band of yellow light. This will help develop your ability to manifest your heartfelt wishes in the physical world. I've made an image of this, this notion to help with the meditation. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see here, but it's, it's much easier to see on my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. If you have a chance to go over there, it's more clear. There are bars across this time because the printing was not so good. This is the meditation on two wish-fulfilling trees. And it looks like this. You see a silhouette of a young man. And inside the silhouette are the two tiny symbols for the wish-fulfilling trees, the upper and lower, and a band of yellow light between them. See that? I'll read you the description for the image. The title is Meditation on the Two Wish-Fulfilling Trees by Alice B. Claggett, 1 October 2021, CC by SA 4.0. Here's the description. Silhouette of a young man standing 
facing forward. There is a yellow band along his central vertical power current. The yellow band extends upward from the low navel point chakra at the Tan Den to the low heart chakra at the solar plexus. At the bottom of the yellow band is the symbol of the low navel point chakra containing the lower whoosh fulfilling tree. At the top of the yellow band is the symbol of the low heart chakra containing the higher wish fulfilling tree. The symbol of the low navel point chakra is a yellow ring inside which is a white ring. Inside that on an orange background is a yellow tree with five branches each with leaves on it. This symbol of the low heart chakra is a green ring inside which is a white ring. Inside that on a yellow background is a green tree with five branches each with leaves on it. Comments. Place your awareness on a band of yellow light at the base and top of which are the two wish-fulfilling trees, the low navel pointer tanden and the low heart point or solar plexus. Visualize this band of yellow light. This will help develop your ability to manifest your heartfelt wishes in the physical world. This image has the same credit as the one above it, that the tree is adapted from Hrit, H-R-I-T, chakra, containing the wish-fulfilling tree by Krishna Jinnana, 9 April 2010, in Wikimedia Commons, and that was public domain. Just by way of explanation, um, this method is an alternative method to the one I describe elsewhere as Malween, the, the little being uh, that's sentient but not too intelligent, that acts as our shield and our buckler and is gifted to us by Malway, the Andromedan. Uh, that's a semi-sentient life form. Very loving and very powerful its ability to provide us with EMF rays that protect us from um, astral rascals and like that. This is another way and a very positive way to project our, our energy of, of will power into the world so as to create things for ourselves, whether it be health or abundance, no matter what it is, creative process, whatever it is we really wish for. And I have one other technique that can be used. So you have two so far. Here's another. Another way to do this is to practice plank, that's P-L-A-N-K, plank pose, or modified plank pose for a few minutes each day. This will help strengthen the core energy oft touted in Pilates. A person lies down, face down on the floor, then props himself up on his elbows and on his upwardly flexed toes with the body straight like a plank. Breath is normal, not strained, and not held in or out. Only do this if your medical doctor feels it will be safe for you in light of your physical condition. And here's a simple picture. You can see a person doing modified plank pose, which is a pose they say is good for all different sorts of people and not for just for very athletic young people. Many people can do this modified plank pose. The title is Plank Exercise by PK0001, 29 December 2018. It's from Wikimedia Commons. It's public domain, and the description is person on floor, facing downward. The person is propped up on elbows and upturned toes. The body is straight, like a plank. 
All right, so that's all for this first installment in Home Lightworker Homework 3. Just to go back over it, there was an explanation of proton fall and of the KP or planetary K index as measurements of geostorms. And there was an explanation of solar cycle sunspot number progression charts and how you could obtain them from NOAA. Um, then there was an explanation of our opportunity to have a fully functional heart chakra, one expressing unconditional love during the new solar maximum, which will be here by the about July of 2025, according to estimates. So we're in the ramp up now. Surf is up. Uh, then there was a theory that I had of how we could utilize this energy that's coming in to to manifest our wishes in the world, to create our own heartfelt truth in the world, to to change the world according to our own heartfelt desires. And that had to do with the two wish-fulfilling trees, the solar plexus and the tan den, and uniting them with a column of yellow light through our imagination. I have to say I got this notion of three-minute and 11-minute meditations from my practice with 3HO, Healthy, Happy, Holy, uh, organization long years ago when I was teaching a little yoga and practicing yoga every day and we always said back then according to the teachings of Yogi Bhajan it ought to be three minutes or 11 minutes or maybe 62 minutes that you meditate um, those are good goals to set but of course if you only have one minute it's good to do it for one minute too then there are a couple of alternative techniques for manifesting our wishes in the world and preventing astral rascal issues during these coming times of, of geostorm uh, upheaval. And one of those has to do with the star gift of Malween, Malwe the Andromedans gift to us, which you can ask for. It's not a bad idea, it's good to have protection. And the other has to do with plank exercises or core strengthening exercises such as those found in Pilate. Um, so, so that's it for now. These are tools for light workers for the coming times. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days.